Hi, uh, my name is Justin. I am a Franciscan friar and a Roman Catholic priest, but our center is interfaith. So we are open to the general public and welcome anyone who is interested in personal growth and development. But we do follow the spirituality of St. Francis, which in fact is the spirituality of Jesus. It's very simple. Jesus and Francis taught God is present in every human being. Therefore, our job is to love everybody. And the way you learn how to do that is meditation. So our expertise here is spirituality and meditation. Now, um, Francis was born uh, in the early um, uh, 1200s and um, he came from a very wealthy family and he was trying to figure out what he was supposed to do with his life and he had gotten into very serious illness after being in the war and when he was recovering he went out into the countryside and found this tiny little chapel where he sat down and in quiet, in meditation, heard the voice of Francis from a crucifix like this. And the voice said to him, Francis, go rebuild my church for as you see it's falling down. And so Francis took that literally. And so he started to spend time working on this dilapidated chapel and he even went around the city begging for the things that he needed to work with. Well, his father was really incensed because he was very wealthy and he was angry because his son was going around begging. And at one point, his father got so angry that he threw him into a dungeon under his own home. And that's what this representation is. So when we came here into this building 35 years ago, there was a radiator here. And we felt it was very appropriate to recall this incident in Francis's life by simply putting a statue of him behind this grate. Now, I want to uh, stress uh, the fact that we deal with people of all religions in our center and we're into personal growth for anyone whether they are attached to organized religion or not so I'd like to move into our chapel and just show you several of our uh, icons there And this is an icon that was given to us by our students in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And um, it was given to us at the time of the AIDS epi epidemic. And uh, the title of the painting is uh, Mother of God, Light in All Darkness. The whole point here is that we want to recall the fact that we deal with anybody and everybody. And this represents our attachment also to the gay community. This, of course, is an icon representing the Buddhist tradition and prayer flags because Meditation is very important in all of our teaching here. And it doesn't make any difference whether the meditation comes from one tradition or another. Meditation is nothing more than you becoming consciously aware of the divine presence that is within you all the time. That's why conscience is so important. Now, I told you that Francis heard the voice of God in that little chapel. 
and I had a very similar experience. When I was in first grade at age five, the nun, who was our teacher at that time, brought a priest into the, the uh, classroom to talk about the Franciscans, and he was dressed like a Franciscan. And he took us into a, a relaxation exercise and had us close our eyes, and then he said, I want you to think about what you want to be when you grow up. And when we got finished with that exercise, he asked us, how many want to be Franciscan priests? And I put my hand up. And I knew at that moment that is what God wanted me to do. And so I had no problems at all during my lifetime making decisions about the schools that I was going to and the courses in those schools and what seminary to go to. I was the youngest ordained priest in the history of our province. That's why we want people to understand. When you meditate, you have access to universal intelligence. And if you want to find out what you want to do or are supposed to do in the future, if you go into meditation, just listen. God will give you direction. And God will also give you what you need to overcome problems in your life. This next um, icon is from Australia and of course represents the Aboriginal tradition, which is very, very grounded in earth spirituality, which of course was very close to Francis also. And like the Aborigines, Francis felt connected to absolutely everything in the universe. And we are told that one day when he was walking down the road, he saw a worm crossing the road and he bent down and picked up the worm and carried it to the other side of the road so it would not be run over. Because he knew that the life in that worm is exactly the same as the life that he was experiencing. And that's what our spirituality is all about. This uh, image was given to us by one of our sponsors in Poland and it represents the cosmos. And this is the, the issue in our present society. Even the scientists tell us there is only one energy that has created and sustains the entire universe, and that energy is called unconditional love. But we want people to understand that it's universal, cosmic, so you can't exclude anyone. Your job is to love everyone. So it's universal. 